My name is Joseph Quijano, and I'm the uh, Managing General Agent for Mutual Trust Life Insurance Company. And I'm here with Mr. Nelson Nash. Nelson, hey Joe. thank you so much for agreeing to be with me good, today. Good, good to be with you. Just want to ask a couple of questions, Nelson. Mm -hmm. Why do you think someone young, like maybe 20 to 30 years old, should actually own the IBC? become their own bankers, in other words. Joe, it's just a simple fact about dividend and pay and whole life insurance. The earlier you start with the policy, the longer it's enforced, the more efficient it gets. Mm -hmm. And as one of the presenters today uh, showed, uh, it's not what goes on at the front end of cranking up a policy. It's uh, the back end out there when you get to uh, what I call passive income time. There's an enormous difference uh, at that level. So, the earlier you start with the policy, the longer it's enforced, the more efficient it gets. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the other topic was that we meet a lot of people that have children, whether they're, you know, brand newborn babies or they're, you know, teenagers, and they're all concerned about college funding. Mm -hmm. Could you uh, tell the audience right now, Nelson, how does the IBC uh, could benefit people that are planning to pay for college for their children or grandchildren? Please. Well, uh, when I first uh, put all this together, it was obvious to me that when uh, my grandchildren came along that I should crank up policies on them immediately. Well, by this time, uh, my uh, children are recognizing this, and so they matched whatever I did. And so uh, when you get started that early in life, uh, that produces a fund that is readily available out there at college time. But it's much, much deeper than that. Uh, you've created something that lasts for the rest of their life. And so the, really the uh, college funding is just a step along the way. Uh, it's True. the lifelong results of this that is truly remarkable. Exactly. Like one of your chapters on the book mm -hmm. states a new look at a college degree. Yes, you know, exactly. It's a, it's, a, it's a different philosophy, right? Do you want to expand totally. on that a little bit, please, Nelson? Well, uh, I have a, a very uh, a famous friend called Dr. Walter E. Williams. Uh, he's professor at George Mason University. I've been knowing Walter for 37 years. And uh, when I wrote this piece about a different look at the money, different look at the monetary value of a college degree, mm -hmm. Uh, I sent that to uh, Walter and uh, another professor, uh, I'd like your opinion. And uh, Walter wrote back a great endorsement for it. He says, uh, your uh, message of this essay is uh, partially explaining why I've said for years that half the kids in college should not be there. That's a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, but if you uh, start that early with a policy, say uh, age one, age zero, mm -hmm. uh, that compounding effect there becomes astronomical. And they're going to have more money. Yes. More then success. That way they have a choice when they yes. get to uh, college age. If That's they right. want to, fine. If they don't, well, no problem. That's right. There's uh, opportunity money there to go into uh, a business of some kind. Mm -hmm. It's what I call a multitasking policy. Exactly. You know, you can actually uh, have it for financing, mm -hmm. pay for college if they want to. Yes. And retirement. Don't you agree? Exactly. Yes. So one policy will do everything. Absolutely. Multitasking. They're learning a way of life, Joe, and uh, it is not something that uh, people know about in college. Academia does not know this subject. Well, Nelson, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Good to be and with you. Good to be with you as well. Okay. Bye-bye.